Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my water change today on my 240 gallon salt. I have my water mixed up. It has been tested. The pump's been running all night and it's at 1.024, which is what I run this tank at. I find it better to run it at a little higher, a little bit lower. Um, what I'm going to do now is take these, the feeder out, take these, pla these uh, acrylic lids off. I will then raise these lights here so that they're out of my way. And then I'm going to start removing all of these artificial coral inserts. I will scrub them up and put them in a solution of mild Clorox water to clean them up and let them dry. Um, I then go through and siphon all the sand on the bottom to clean it all out. And I will also wipe all the acrylic off on the side and the front panel. I've decided to just leave it grow on the back. I like the effect. So that's what I'm going to do now, and once I start siphoning this, I will probably, you know, show a little bit of that, but that's the process. So I'll get this thing clean today. It needs it bad. Okay, what I've done is I took these pieces, scrubbed them off with a brush in the sink, and then put them in this solution. There's about a cup and a half of Clorox in that and let them soak. I only Clorox these once in a while when they start getting a little bit too brown. I'll have to wait and see how they look right now. Usually I just scrub them off with the brush, and then when I'm done, I set everything here to dry. And what I do is half of the tank at a time. So what I'll do now is go through and siphon the, grout, the sand. On this half, clean the acrylic, do everything. I then put these back so the fish have some place to hide and do the other side. So that's where I'm going. Okay, I have all of the acrylic wiped off on the sides and the front. I have siphoned all the sand, stirred it up good. These have been cleaned and put back in. The system is shut down right now. I pulled the protein skimmer cups off and cleaned those off on both of them. I have pulled the filter floss, which I actually use batting from Walmart. And before I put the new floss in, I will wait till I get all the water in and flush the system to clean those holes out in that top part and then I will add that filter floss. Keep an eye on your protein skimmers after you turn the system on like this that needed clean because they might fill a little quicker than normal. So anyway, what I'm going to do now, um, in the shop here I have the tops have been Cloroxed. They have been rinsed very, very good. This is non-porous so that the Clorox doesn't soak in. You just have to rinse them off. You can smell them. They do not smell like Clorox. And they are, you know, clean. They're back to the color they were when I got them. This one here, which is, I wish all of my coral inserts were those, but that's 450 bucks for that one. So I only own the one. It's also non-porous, so it is in the Clorox now. I'll take it out in the wild and spend a long time rinsing it in the sink under cold water and then set it up here. So I have pretty much everything cleaned, everything's done. What I'm going to do right now is probably start pumping water back into the system. And all I do for that is I have a small pump that I hook up to this same hose and throw it in there and go ahead and start start pumping it in. So I'm going to start working on that now and then I'll chime in later when I, when I get farther along. Okay, I am siphoning water, this is new water, into the tank. I always clamp it on so it doesn't pop out. Um, and I do not have the floss in yet or the cups of the protein skimmers. 
but I am flushing that so it kind of cleans out that filter a little bit. And what I will do is I will pump water until I reach this line right here. Once I reach that line, then I shut off my pump because then I am full. I'll then shut, the, shut these down individually really quick, put the floss in, turn them on, and I'm good to go. And then it's just a matter of cleaning it. Okay, water change is done. Uh, the water needs to clear up a little bit yet, but it's all cleared up. It looks really nice. Um, I'm going to have to get my other phosphate reactor in. The brown comes on pretty quick. Uh, filters are running, protein skimmers are clean, cups are clean, new filter floss. Everything's looking very, very good. Uh, one thing I do do is I do add some of this. Camp Marine program for DKH because if you don't, your pH will drop. So once a week, I put, I think, 60 milliliters in there, and that maintains my, my uh, pH where it needs to be. So what I did was once it's crystal clear, which it will be pretty quick, you can see through here, and you can see this stuff back here from the other end, which looks kind of dumb. So I took a piece of plywood and got some black fabric, and I actually use spray-on fabric glue. The fabric glue has to be, you know, the glue spray-on has to be for fabric, otherwise it'll, it'll bleed through. And then all I do, I don't know if I can do this one hand, but is this sits up here like this, tucks in there, and then pulls in. And by doing that, so when you come down on this other end and you look through there, it you can't all see all the way through. It's black, just like the background. So it works very well. I will add something to this once I get uh, the water completely cleared up and where it's crystal clear again. And you can see how it looks when it's when it's clean. But it looks looks really good. Um, it's needed it for quite a while. I did about oh three buckets, so about 14 gallons of water change. Okay, everything is cleared up real nice. Um, the water is is clear. Let me shut this light off. See if that makes a difference. I don't know, but same either way. Um, it's cleared up very well. Coral's cleaned up nice. Or the coral inserts anyway. Puffer's doing good. Um, everything looks looks real good. And you can see it's cleared up so much that you can. You can actually see all the way through the eight foot to the other end very easily. So that is my water change for today.